Thank you for calling Ramada Front Desk. This is Kate. How may I help you? Kate, um, please, can can you help me? Um, how are you, first of all? How's your day going? My day is going well. How about you? Well, I've had better. I've had worse, I'd say, you know. Um, now, let me ask ask you this, and please don't – you're not going to freak out on me, are you? You, you seem level-headed. You're not going to flip out, right? I'm definitely going to flip out, so go ahead and ask. Oh, do I need your permission to call 911? Where are you at? Well, I'm in the room, but I know if I call them, oh, God, they all all those sirens and all those people show up, and there's going to be so – they're going to ask so many questions, and so, it's probably, it's probably going to be a, a pain in the ass for you guys, so I thought I'd call and get your permission to call 911 first. What room are you in? Well, I'll tell that to dispatch and them. Um, I don't like you. It's it, I don't I you know I haven't even decided honestly. I just I want to get your permission before I even decide if I'm gonna call or not. Well, what do you need to call 911 for? I'll tell them. You know, that's if I'm gonna take that route. If I decide to go through like you guys and maintenance and if you have security or if you guys have like a guy who's got like a billy club or a bat or anything, we could go that route or we could take it different ways. You know. Well, you know, if you just tell me which room you're calling from, then I can call 911 if you need. Oh, I, no, 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 no. I'm I getting your call. I'll call. You I'll call. Oh, no, 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 no. Everything's calm down. I haven't decided if I want to or not yet. Well, okay. So let's let's talk about this reasonably. Well, yeah, let's talk about it legally. Go ahead. You can start <laughs> you can start and then but I promise I get my turn, okay? You definitely get your turn. Okay, you can take your turn first. Go ahead. Okay, so if you if you're thinking about doing something that I'm going to have to do lots of paperwork on, please don't save it for the next person, okay? Well, no, I mean if I have to, if I evaluate the situation and decide that this is a 911 type of a situation, then what do you you want me to not call them or what I I'm... Well, I absolutely want you to call them. If, okay. if you're in a situation, now, please call them. Uh, right, right, right. Away. But on the other hand, um, now if I call them up and it turns out that there's no emergency at all whatsoever and I'm just wasting their time and everything's fine and dandy, um, I can get in trouble for that, can I? I don't know. Uh, like if I make a false, like if ever, if it's a false 911 call, if I'm calling them and wasting their time or – I don't want to do that. I'd never do – I don't – you know, I don't think well, I want it. So that's why I have to that's why I have to evaluate and I got to look at the situation I got to look at it in every like, angle and like, say is this an emergency? Really bad and you can't drive to get stitches? I don't know some something like that kind of maybe sort of less blood in places. Um, okay, so if you think you need 911, I would. I'm not sure. No, 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 no. Please calm down. I'm not sure. I haven't decided okay. yet. I don't want right, to get so I don't want to get locked in because if you go around calling 911 and then there's not an emergency, then I'll go to jail and I don't want that. I have a warrant. I will. Not. No. You know what? I'm going to let you be the responsible adult and you make the decision. Thank you, then. That's what I was saying. But I do have your permission to call 911 if I need to. Absolutely. And please. Well, I didn't, that's all the paperwork we were talking about. I didn't want to get you hemmed up in paperwork. Oh, I, I thought maybe I mean, you were bleed, just bleed, bleed, You said bleeding. If, if it was bleeding, you know, bleed, just for example, bleeding stops eventually. You know what I'm saying? Like nine times out of ten, it'll stop eventually. And I, I don't want to get you hemmed up with paperwork. You know what? I'd rather do paperwork than have you lying dead in a bit in one of the rooms. Well, no, I don't. That's not that's not how the type of that's not the type of situation we're in here. Um, okay, so. I'm of so, I'm of sound mind, obviously. You know, I'm not I'm not on drugs or anything. Um, I'll let you know if if I do have a problem. Like, oh no, wait, I don't even. You know what? I don't even have to rope you into it at this point. You gave me permission. Um, if I have an emergency, I'll just call nine one one and everything but, will be good then. You know. If, but, if it's something that uh, you can ask an EMT or something, if, if you call 911, if that's oh, the like, situation, can I, do, then, you know, if you know an EMT, you can always call an EMT. Well, do you, are you married or you, do you have like, are you single? Do you have like a bunch of EMTs in your phone? I do not have a bunch of EMTs. I only have... Like for hookups. Oh, can I get his number? Um, can I have him call I'll just, you? well, I'll just text him. I'll text him, I'm saying. Okay. I will shoot him a text and warn him. That sure, I shoot him a text. Shoot him a text. Tell him I'm fine, okay? All right. For the time being, everything's good. Um, I'll reevaluate, but, you know, everything's cool. So, okay, can I, um, if you well, can, he's going to take his time answering you. Well, if time out, because I am an American, and that means I have rights. So let me just explain. If you text, he's going to take his time getting back to you. And it would probably be a good idea if I sent him a text telling him who's going to be texting him. Let's talk about this legally. I, I don't know who. What does he look like? Is he hot? No, he's. My I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> but not that there's anything. I mean, okay. Um, like I guess Brad Pitt. Like, does he look like Brad Pitt? 
No, he looks like an average guy. He's, oh, okay, I, good, like good, good. He's my son. Oh, he's your son. Okay, he's not going to be hitting on me or anything, right? Oh, absolutely not. He, oh, I didn't want. I don't know. Which, I didn't know if it was your son or if you. I thought usually ladies have have EMTs in their phone for a hookup, don't they? I wouldn't know. I'm married and I'm happily married and I'm not hooking up with anybody. Is your husband an EMT? No, my husband is not. My husband is a preacher. I'm very confused. And then what? He does dispatch work or what? I don't understand what he does during the week then. No. How does that? I don't see how it all ties together. I don't understand. My son, my son is the EMT. Okay. My husband is a preacher. Okay. The only way we are related is that, you know, by blood. And then, and then if I know any guys for to hook up with your son, I should let you know. No, absolutely not. He has a girlfriend. Oh, okay. And then, all right, well, whatever. That's not my job to judge. Um, okay, well, just text him. Tell him I'm fine. Tell him I'm good. Tell him you don't know who I am or where I am and that everything's good. Do you want a phone number? Uh, shit, it's a lot of effort, though, isn't it? Just to mess with your son, and it's not... No, well, like, what is he doing in his spare time? What is he doing right now? Is he working and doing EMT stuff? I don't know. I or is he playing... Is he, is he, like, eating air, eating air... Or playing air hockey and eating a pizza, or, or vice versa? I don't know. I don't live with him, and so I don't know his work schedule. Do you so. check... Do you, when did you check on him last to see what he does? With it? Does he play laser tag? <laughs> oh, do, do you think he'd want to play laser tag? I have no idea. Once I oh once I get healed I'll play laser tag with him. So um really if you need to call 911 call I will. Me. Yep. Yeah, we covered that. I will. Thank you. I really appreciate your permission. I just wasn't sure. Now I know if once I get done, I made a flow chart and I'm going to go through it. Um it's like, you know, is it broke? Can you is there blood? Can you see bone? I'm going to go through the flow chart um and it tells you when to call 911. So I'll just do that. I don't even really have to think. I'll just I'll just follow a flow chart. So, can you let me know what room you're in? If you decide to call 911 and I have to direct them there? Um, how about I'll tell them to tell you and then you can call back and I'll confirm. And then I'll tell you at that point. But I'll write it down on a paper and you can send someone out and then I'll give it to them on the paper and they can bring it down to you. So that way it's secure. Because I'm thinking about privacy first, you know, as far as the medical information. Well, I'm not going to give any medical information out. You haven't told me anything. I just need to know, you know, I just need to know what room you're in. What, you, what medical stuff do you want to know? <laughs> well, then that would be violating your privacy, wouldn't it? Well, I don't know. Not if I want to tell you. Maybe I want to tell you my secrets. Well, I don't know. I don't know what to ask. I'm not a, I'm not a medical professional. I wouldn't know what to ask. You can just ask anything. All right. How old are you? I don't know. Like 40 or something. Um. My turn. Are you okay. single? No, I'm married. Yeah, but do you cheat on him, I mean? Absolutely not. Okay. Why not? Follow up. Why not? Because I want him to be faithful to me, so I'm going to be faithful oh, to him. Oh, Jesus. You didn't say you love him. That's not That's not good. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> let's, let's change the subject. We're, you know what? I just assume people... Maybe. Okay. On the other hand, isn't it your turn? Isn't it your turn for to step outside the marriage for once? No, sir. Yeah, so I think let that... let me ask you. Are you married? No. Oh, no. I'm ready to mingle. I'm single in, in that. Oh, my goodness. So if you want to hook up or whatever... No, thank you. I'm... Well, I'm, I'm just saying to get back at him rather than for you trying to be, oh, I'm, I'm not fucking guys, I'm not fucking guys, and he's out fucking girls. Maybe you should fuck a couple of guys. He isn't. Well, maybe if you fuck a couple of guys, that'll set him straight. That's right. kind of that's odd for a preacher, isn't it? No, it is not. It's not odd for him to be out womanizing as a preacher. So, that's not odd. I is there is there something I can do to help you? Well, I, at this point, I feel like maybe we're on the verge of helping you a little bit. Do you want to talk about this a little bit more? No, thank you. Okay, I'll call back next week. Thank you. You have a great day. I love you. Bye. <laughs>